We all know how important it is to build a data culture. In a strong data culture, data becomes part of the business flow. People are able to find insights and data and regularly share them with one another. We're pleased to announce new capabilities to help you build a data culture. First, how you can stay on top of your data. Tableau is already the home of all kinds of business insight. How do you stay up to date? Of course, Tableau can send you email and that kind of works. But like many of you, I'm often out and about. I'm not always checking Tableau or checking email. But I am on my phone and I'm always on Slack. I'm happy to announce that we are bringing Tableau to Slack. Now you can put your data front and center, right with your most important conversations. And you'll get notifications about your data just like any Slack notification. It looks like I just got an alert about the error rate in our service. Right here in Slack, I can click into the notification and see the image of the alert so I can see why it fired. Or I can click to go to the live dashboard in Tableau Mobile. What better way to build a data culture than to get data right into the flow of everyday work. Now, let me move over to my laptop. When I'm in Tableau in the browser, I see this bell at the top of my screen. And when I click it, I see a completely revamped notification center. Not only is it information rich, but it's got all my important changes, including the alert that just fired and a view a colleague shared to me. For some, I can take action right in the pane, like to refresh an extract. Or I can go into the dashboard to learn more. These notifications help me stay on top of everything in my data world. Subscriptions, alerts, shares, comments, right here in one place. They'll be in your favorite channel, whether that's Slack, email, another business system, or write in Tableau. Now, I've also been working on a new analysis, and I want to finish it but I don't have Tableau desktop on this machine. What's a modern analyst to do? Well, we want to give you the best of Tableau, completely in the browser, no desktop required. Next year, you'll have an end-to-end -end browser experience so your users can analyze data anywhere. I've just built a new dashboard right in the browser, and it's got all kinds of powerful analytical features, sets, actions, formatting, and more. And look at those sweet animations. The problem is, I'm still not quite done. How do I keep this private until it's ready to share? Well, we're adding personal spaces to Tableau. This is a place to save things until I'm ready to share them. For users that don't have desktop or just want to be able to access their work anywhere, this gives you all your work right inside Tableau Server or Tableau Online. It's a safe place where you can explore, create, and share when you're ready. And for admins, keeping unfinished work out of projects and searches means less clutter on your server. Keeping things private until they're ready to share. This kind of governance is critical to support a data culture. Now, I also need to make a few quick changes to this very popular already published dashboard. One last change, I'm gonna add marks to labels, one of the great new analytical features we added last year, and it looks great, it looks perfect. It's exactly the way I want. Oops, I accidentally closed the tab, and I've lost all my work. That's the worst. But if this happens to you, never fear, we've got you. We're adding autosave to Tableau. If I refresh the page, I'll now see draft. I can go back to where I was or discard the changes. Auto save in Tableau, because we all deserve a second chance. A complete end-to-end -end browser experience requires advanced analytical features like actions and sets, but it also means users need a great experience, a safe place to save work and auto save for when those mistakes happen. Tableau is providing market-leading flexibility across desktop and the web. Now, it's great that we have these new insights, but if I never share them, do they really exist? If a dashboard falls in the woods and it doesn't share an insight, does it make a sound? 
In a thriving data culture, your Tableau environment is flooded with content. You can try to organize it by project, but it's hard for people to find things. So they build wikis or email links around. What if I had a place I could put all of them? Today, we're introducing a better way for everyone in the data culture to curate and share their knowledge. We call it collections. Collections are new places where you can group related content together from anywhere on your server. If projects are like albums, then collections are like a playlist. You can remix your data however you want, just like you'd create a running playlist. This is a collection about a cross-team project addressing a surge in demand. I've added some dashboards and some metrics showing KPIs. By the way, those metrics look pretty sweet, don't they? And to add more, I can simply find what I want to add and put it in the collection. You can build a collection for anything, for weekly reports, cross-team initiatives, for onboarding, so your new team members have a great starting point. In the future, we'll make collections more visual and let you embed visualizations and ask data right in the pane so people can ask a new question. Now, this is what a data culture should look like. You and your team, always up to date. Data and analytics, wherever you need them. And experiences for people at all skill levels to use data right in their workflow.